monkey trees. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting an adventure park. Welcome to Monkey Trees. Miss Rabbit is in charge. What do we do at Monkey Trees? You climb through the trees like monkeys. I just hope we don't have to climb too high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. You'll be wearing a harness, so you can't fall. If you lose your balance... Oops! The wire will hold you. <laughs> it looks fun. Me first. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> and now me. I just have to keep my balance. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. This isn't high at all. That's because this is the practice bit. What? The real course is high up in the treetops. Ah. Uh. Don't worry, I'll be down here giving you advice. That's good to know. Follow the wire. It will lead you where you have to go. The steps are going high into the treetops. Here is the wobbly bridge. <laughs> Danny Dog and his daddy are crossing it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Wow, we are so high up. Brilliant, isn't it? As long as I don't look down, I should be fine. Oh, this bridge is wobbly. That's why it's called the Wobbly Bridge. You're doing great. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Wibble, wobble. <laughs> um, maybe I'll wait here for a bit. <laughs> Come on, Mr Pig. We can't cross until you cross. What's the hold-up? There is a queue behind Daddy Pig. Ah, what's going on? Sorry, everyone. OK, here goes. Whoa! <laughs> I did it! I did the wobbly bridge. Oh, oh. Well done, Daddy. <laughs> These are the swinging hoops. Oh, there's nothing to walk on. Just use your arms to swing from hoop to hoop, like a monkey. Um, I'm not sure. Come on, Mummy. You have to go first so we can go. OK, here goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It's too difficult. Oh, I can't hang on anymore. Whoa! <laughs> Mummy, Pepper, and George are hanging from the wire. Now what do we do? You need something big and heavy to push you across. Ah, I see where this is going. Hang on, here I come. <laughs> well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's what my tummy was built for. <laughs> <laughs> This is the ginormous zip wire. Brilliant! <laughs> this is the last bit. Mr Rabbit will give you some help. Just decide if you want to go head or feet first. Definitely feet first. Feet first, off you go. Woohoo! <laughs> Pepper and George, head or feet first? Head first. <laughs> head first. Off you go. <laughs> and Daddy Pig? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to say head first. Head first. <laughs> Off you go. No, there's been a misunderstanding. I want to go feet first. <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> I must admit. That was quite fun. No, Daddy. It was the most amazing good thing in the whole wide world ever. <laughs> Peppa loves monkey trees. Everyone loves monkey trees. <laughs> water park. Peppa and her family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone. Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. 
Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. <laughs> and George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the Bubble Bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Hello, Peppa. Let's play in the bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> the bubbles lift you up and tickle you. <laughs> oh, yes. That feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. Hello, Mandy. You've got to try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? You wait here until the bucket is full. Then what happens? <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? <laughs> Wet. Although, I suppose that is the point of coming to a water park. Oh, oh, let's do the water slides. Here are the water slides. There's a tiny slide for little children and a really big, ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on the slide. <laughs> That's very high. <laughs> Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> George, let's do the tiny slide. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, you have to watch us. OK, we're watching. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to have a go. OK. We'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig. You can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Daddy, we're waiting. Sorry. I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy! <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is! Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK. Here goes. Wow, Daddy Pig! You did the big ginormous slide. Oh, oh. You are brilliant! Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. That was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. <laughs> Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing center. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes, once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Brilliant. Yes, but that won't be happening today. 
We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bobbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on. Like this. Wow. Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. <laughs> If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! wow. Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! Oh dear, George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George! Mummy's coming! Stop! You can't climb without a rope! It's against the rules! No time for rules! I have to rescue George! <laughs> Mummy's here! Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, okay. You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right there. Hang on, Mummy Pig. Woohoo! Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun. I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Trampolines. Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I'll have a go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups <laughs> are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. The Big Hill. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Peppa. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> let's Go! <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. <gasps> Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have there's something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <laughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. Ah, nearly there, George. <laughs> it is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. 
This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK. We've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> I don't know, Peppa. I hope <sighs> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow, I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> This car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beat. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn. 
time to make her go quick. No, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can... Go! Wait for us! <laughs> Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you're very welcome. And I hope you've learnt at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Flying discs. Today, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. What is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> wow, that is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. <laughs> to you, Mummy Pig. <laughs> to you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's OK, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. OK. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Peppa. What? Oh, our disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen a blue disc? Yes, I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy, are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <laughs> <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? Oh, 
Okay, Daddy, but do it right. Oh, <gasps> all the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry, I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes, all the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeeze! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's working. <laughs> Keep shaking, Daddy. <laughs> Shake harder, Mummy. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! To you, Danny! To you, Peppa! <laughs> Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. Roller disco! Peppa and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy, I'm fine. Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, Belinda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go round and round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. Hello, Mummy and Daddy. Hello, Hello Peppa. Hello, George. Hello. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Hello, 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 how many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's skate together! OK! <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! <laughs> Uh, hello again, Peppa. Hello again, Daddy. <laughs> hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> One potato, two potato, three potato, four Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. We have to be quicker with our own music potato, next time potato, Yes, more. I've got it ready Five to play potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Wow, Daddy's going backwards Five potato, six potato, How do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Six potato, seven potato more. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. 
Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favorite song! Skate on the disco town! Nothing can as well as skates are flashing! Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mommy! Hello, Mandy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mommy! Hello again, Peppa! Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Families. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Hiya, Mummy! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. <laughs> yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the Panda Twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Go, oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My Daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now Daddy has come home to me and Mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my Mummy and my other Mummy. One Mummy is a doctor and one Mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. <laughs> Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Ah, oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. 
It is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <laughs> it's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, Mummy. And that's you, Daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. <laughs> holiday on the sea. Peppa and George are on a cruise ship holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <gasps> We've won a big boat. <laughs> there are so many things to do on this boat. What do we do first, Granny? I think we should have breakfast. Ah, but would that be a mermaid breakfast or a dinosaur breakfast? <gasps> dinosaur! <laughs> this is the Dinosaur Cafe. Morning! Would you like some dinosaur breakfast eggs? Dinosaur breakfast eggs have spots on them. <laughs> Ahoy there, sailors! My name is Pirate Pete, and this is Mrs Mermaid. Please come to our fancy dress show tonight. We'll all have lots of fun. Oh, yes. We should go to the show tonight. But before that, what would you like to do? Trampolines? Splash pools? Mini golf? No, no, no! Why not just try them? Everything on this cruise ship is free. Is it really? Yes, except the ride on potato. Ooh. George wants to do the ride on potato. <laughs> potato! Good. You stay here with George. Pepper and I will find something else to do. <laughs> Trampolines! Yippee! Here is Rohan Rhino. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Rohan. Do you want to play in the mermaid splash pool? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Granny. Oh, have you finished bouncing already? Maybe that's enough potato for one day, George. Potato! Potato! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mermaid splash pool. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> that's it, George. I have no more coins left. Oh. Hello, boys. We need to get ready for the show. It is showtime on the cruise ship. Everyone has dressed up to watch. Ooh. Good evening, boys and girls. I'm Pirate Pete. I sailed around the seas and treasure was my wish. But nothing did I find there except a great big fish. Oi, I'm a mermaid, not a fish. <laughs> Do you want to come look for treasure? I don't need to. I've got a magic box. Ooh. It will give you whatever you wish for. Just say the magic word. Which is? Uh, oh, I've forgotten. Sorry, memory like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows a magic word? Abracadabra! What? A candelabra? <laughs> no, it's not working. Mrs. Mermaid, can you check the box is not broken? Abracadabra! Oh, Abracadabra! Ooh. Look at that! Chocolate coins for everyone! <laughs> but wait! My new friend, Mrs. Mermaid, has gone! <gasps> Who can help me magic her back? Me! I can help you! Aha! Come up on stage! <laughs> What's your name? I'm Peppa Pig! So, Peppa Pig, what do we do to get Mrs. Mermaid back? Say the magic word! Abracadabra! Ta-da! <laughs> and that is the end of the show! Good night, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a wonderful day. I can't think how it could be any more special. Ah! What was that? <gasps> it's a whale! Wow. wow! She's saying night-night. 
it is bedtime on the holiday cruise ship. Tomorrow will be another day. The park! Today, Peppa and her family are at the park. There are so many fun things to do in the park. What shall we start with? Let's go to the little bridge and say hello to the ducks. Quack, quack! Yes, the ducks! Here is the little bridge. Zoe Zebra is here. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Peppa. Oh, where are the ducks? I think they are hiding. Let's call them. Ducks, where are you? Come out now, wherever you are. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Here are the baby ducklings. Ooh. They are so sweet. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Peppa quack, likes talking quack, to ducks. Quack, quack. Everyone quack, likes quack, talking quack, to ducks. What a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's visit the bouncy tree. This is the bouncy tree. Danny Dog is already on it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady, bounce. <laughs> bounce, bounce. George wants a go. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready, Ready steady, steady, bounce! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough bouncing for today. See you later. Bye, Danny. So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! <coughs> My go. Uh, 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 oh, I did it. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? <laughs> whoa, 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 and whoa. <laughs> One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. <laughs> Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. Oof, oof. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn. You just have to swing like a monkey. Look. Ooh. It's easy when you're big and strong like me. Ugh. You're not swinging, you're walking. <laughs> cheeky Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> My go. Oh, I can't hold on. Oof, it's impossible. <laughs> George wants a go. Oh, George, you were too little. Even I can't do it. Hmm, maybe being little might help. <laughs> Hooray! What can we do now? Well, there's one thing in the park that we absolutely have to do. I think I know what that is. Um... It has something to do with your boots. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The park has lots of muddy puddles for Peppa and her friends to jump in. This is brilliant. Peppa loves the park. Everybody loves the park. The holiday. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and her family are going on holiday. Where? Are we going on holiday? We've booked a little house near the beach. Brilliant! Yes, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. 
I think we're here. It's a fairy tale house. Yes, it's very pretty. Like where Goldilocks and the three bears lived. And we're going to be staying here for our holiday. Hooray! This house was made a long time ago. <gasps> Look at the tiny door. Yes, uh, a long time ago, everyone was smaller. And it's teeny tiny inside too. Yes, it's really very small in here. That's fine, because we will be outside most of the time, enjoying the sunshine. Let's walk down to the beach now. Yes. There are so many fun things to do when it's sunny. Ah! It has started to rain. Back inside the house, everyone. I'm sure the rain will stop soon. Until then, we'll just find something fun to do indoors. We can watch television. Um, I don't think there is a television, Pepper. What? No television? OK, then, let's play on the computer. There is no computer either. This is a very old house. So what can we do? Look, there's a visitor's book. People who've been on holiday in this house have written what they did here. And they drew pictures. Ooh! It was lovely and sunny. Then it rained and rained and rained. Oh! Someone else has written, rain, rain, rain. Ah! Mummy, can I draw a picture in the book? Of course. Here is the little house with Mummy, Daddy, Peppa and George. And here is the rain. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Peppa. You see, you can have fun, even when it's rainy outside. Yes, I love this little house. And hopefully the rain will stop soon. It is raining and raining and raining. Looks like we're going to have to stay indoors a bit longer. I know. Let's play a game. Yes! Look, there's an old game here. The only problem is we don't know how to play. I'm good at games. OK, Pepper, you're in charge. First, pick what colour you want to be. Daddy is green. I'm red. George is blue. <laughs> and Mummy is orange. Thank you, Pepper. Who starts? Normally, the youngest player starts. That's George. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, George. Now it's my turn. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. Ooh, I've landed on the magic square. <laughs> what does that mean, Pepper? That means I get to go again. Da -de -da -de -da. <laughs> now it's Daddy's turn. Daddy, 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 da. Daddy, you can't just go anywhere. We're playing a proper game. <sighs> ah, of course. Da, da. <sighs> I've landed on a star. That must be good. No, that means you go to prison. Now it's Mummy's go. Oh, where do I go? You go to prison with Daddy. <sighs> So, George and me are the winners! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! The rain has stopped! And the sun is shining! And all that rain has made muddy puddles! This is brilliant! What a great holiday! It's the best holiday ever! Peppa loves the holiday house. <laughs> Everyone loves the holiday house. Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. <laughs> Have a go on your skateboard. Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. 
Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Peppa. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? Oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-up. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Pepper a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Pepper. Put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this! Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow! That's so good! Can you do that, Daddy? Um... I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, I realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... <laughs> Wow! Look at him go! <laughs> My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. <laughs> Peppa and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground and jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 j
Very good. And rest. Now we come to the very best bit. Spin the hoop around your middle like this. Wow! Madame Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try. Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies. Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Woodland Club. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods and I was raised by a family of wolves. Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. Oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh! It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! Me! Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes. I like my little house of sticks. 
Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No. Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy bitsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves. Loads of leaves. Bundles and jumbles of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a cosy house now. It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! 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 <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No. The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. Canoe trip! Pepper and her family are going on a canoe trip. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can we have a canoe for the day, please? Yes, here you go. You'll need life jackets <laughs> and paddles for Mummy and Daddy. Thanks. Have a lovely day. I'll call you when it's time to come back. Uh, which way do we go? You can go either way. Let's go that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, we're not moving. And it's really hard work. That's because you're paddling against the flow of the river. Try going the other way. OK. Oh, that's much better. It is easier to paddle with the flow of the river. Happy canoeing! Pepper and her family are off on their canoe adventure. Let's pretend this is a jungle river. And we are the first explorers to ever come this way. Will we see wild animals? Oh, yes. All kinds of wild and fierce animals. It's Mrs Duck. Oh, oh. I wonder what other dangerous creatures are swimming in these waters. Will there be crocodiles? Well, we're not really in the jungle, so I don't think we'll see a crocodile. Ah! Hello there. Here is Mrs Crocodile. Oh, hello. Are you having fun on the river? Yes. <laughs> Me too. I was just out for a swim. Lovely. Bye-bye. Bye. Look at those lovely plants on the riverbank. Yes. Let's stop and do a bit of jungle exploring. I hope we see a lion. Oh, I think it's unlikely we'll see a... <laughs> ah! Hello there. It is Mr Lion. I'm having a picnic. Would you like to be part of it? Uh, I've got lots of lovely fruit and a big bowl of salad. Ooh, my favourite. Yes, salad. What could be a better lunch? Mr Lion likes picnics. 
Everyone likes picnics. So, you're canoeing down the river. Yes, we're having an adventure. Oh, fantastic. I think you'll like the next bit of the river. It's very exciting. I like exciting. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm, I wonder what Mr Lion meant when he said the next bit would be exciting. Careful not to hit that rock, Daddy Pig. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. It's only one little rock. See? That was easy. More rocks, Daddy! The river is going faster now. Ah! Hold tight, everybody! Whee! Oh, Yippee! Oh, watch out! Nearly there! <laughs> oh, we survived! If I can possibly avoid it, I never want to go through that bit of river again. What's that noise? It's time to come back! Oh, we have to take the canoe back. Ah, yes. So we do have to go through that bit again. Ready, Mummy Pig? Ready. Steady, go! <laughs> it is very hard work to paddle against the flow of the river. Oh, we are going really slowly. Hi again. Do you need a push? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Amazing. How are you moving against the flow without paddling? Ah! Hi there. Mrs Crocodile, you startled me. Oh, sorry, Miss Rabbit. I was just giving them some help. Yes. Thank you so much, Mrs Crocodile. You're very welcome. That was the best canoe trip in the world ever! Peppa <laughs> loves canoe trips. <laughs> Everyone loves canoe trips. <laughs> Bowling! Grandpa Pig and Grandad Dog are taking Peppa, George and Danny bowling. Grandpa, what is bowling? Well, Peppa, I can't really say. I've never done it before. This was all Grandad Dog's idea. Bowling is fun. Try not to be grumpy. And even you might have a good time, old man. Old man? You're older than me. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Welcome to bowling. Please take off your shoes. Sorry, for a moment there I thought you said we had to take our shoes off. <laughs> That's right. Shoes off and hand them over. Everyone has to wear bowling shoes to go bowling. My goodness, what a lot of fuss for a little game. Have fun. We will. Right, this is our lane. Danny, can you show everyone how to bowl? Yes. First, you take a ball. That's right. And can everyone see the pins at the end of the lane? Yes, we see the skittle things. I use this ball to knock those pins over. <gasps> Two fell down. <laughs> Good shot, Danny. It's like magic. Bowling is actually quite fun. OK, it's my go. My goodness, they all fell over. Yes, that's called a strike. I'm really beginning to like bowling. What's charming is how simple it is to play. You just roll the ball and it knocks over the skittles. Yes, but not to worry. It's only a game. That's a spirit, old chap. Not everyone is good at games. My go! <laughs> oh, this is too heavy. Pick another one, Peppa. Oh, this is just right. They all fell over. A strike. <laughs> well done, Peppa. Yes! And that was the first time you ever bowled! Wonderful! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's George's turn. Try this one, George. 
And for George, I think the ramp would be a good idea. <laughs> Yes, well done. But how come George gets that ramp, Thee, and I didn't? Because the ramp is for little children. <laughs> yes, Grandpa. George is little, but you are big. Yes, of course. My go again. <laughs> I think that means we've all had a strike. Uh, apart from me. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten you didn't hit any. <laughs> Have another go, Grandpa. OK, I'll try, but I can tell this is really not my sort of thing. But I suppose what matters is not the winning, but taking part. <laughs> An amazing shot! Did you see that? I knocked all the Skittles over. Hey, everyone! Stop what you're doing! I've got a strike! I've got a strike! I've like got you a said, strike. it's the taking part, strike. not winning, strike. that matters. I got a strike! <laughs> Bowling is really fun! It's brilliant! Bowling is probably the best game in the world ever. <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful! Paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have! It's a rainbow parachute! And we are going to play games with it! Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning! Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop. It is home time 
and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games. Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow did today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh. Canyon country. Peppa and George are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Look at that view. It's like the moon. Are we on the moon, Mummy? <laughs> no, Peppa. We might be lost, but we can't be that lost. Can we, Daddy Pig? Uh. Stop! Here is Mr. Buffalo. He is digging up the road. Excuse me, but is this Hollywood? No, this is the desert. Oh, has it always been the desert? Well, a long time ago it was actually the sea. The sea? Yeah, if you look in the sand, there are seashells. Look, George, this was the seaside. <laughs> but now it's desert for miles and miles and miles. So which way is Hollywood, please? That way. Thank, Thank you. you. The desert is going on for miles and miles and miles and Are miles. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> no, not yet, Pepper. America is a very big country. It feels like we could go on forever. Stop! It's Mr. Buffalo again. I'm not Mr. Buffalo. I'm Mr. Bison. Ah. Oh. Are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow, and you dug that hole all by yourself. No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, yes please. please. Then hop in. <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. <whistles> There's an eagle! <whistles> wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay. Just watch out for the rapids! Yes, lots of fun. Look, caves! Wow, just think. We might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, <laughs> snacks. Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. 
They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh. And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow, I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Well, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. We will. Bye. Okay. Bye. Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids, all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hi, Peppa. This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak! But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. <laughs> is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> Here's a whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK. Last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! Oh, it's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah! 
This is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Goldie! Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. The clubhouse. Pepper and her friends are at the playground today. <laughs> I'm the cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr. Bull. Stand back, everyone! Mr. Bull, what are you doing? I'm digging up the playground! Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Bull. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. <gasps> Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr. Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children size. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. <coughs> Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <coughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> this is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr. Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK. Pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Ball! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. <laughs> clubhouse adventure. Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game shall we play today? Let's play adventures. Outside our clubhouse is a forest.
forest full of yes, dangerous, yes, yes, wild yes, animals. Yes, yes, yes. I'll email the numbers over later when I've got access to the... The place. wild animals are yes, outside. As long as we stay inside, we are safe. I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> the spreadsheet numbers were copy and pasted from documents. Daddy! Daddy! Uh, I'll call you back. Someone's asking me something. You have to be a wild animal. Oh, oh, I think I can manage that. You are in a forest. OK, I'll be a wild pig. <laughs> I'm a dangerous wild pig living in the forest. And we are safe in our little house. <laughs> we need more wild animals. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak, squeak. <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. <coughs> oh, my goodness, Mummy Polar Bear. You gave me a shock. <coughs> Polar bears like growling. Wow, they are good. My mummies are best at growling. <laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of... plastic? Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. The clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes! We can pretend there's a jungle outside with real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal! Like a tiger! Ooh, I can sound like a tiger. Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy! My friends are here! I can roar. That's really good. Oh, oh, I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me. Roar. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs. Crocodile. Uh, we've had a problem at the zoo. Don't panic, but some animals have escaped. <laughs> oh, oh. We heard lots of strange noises coming from here and wondered if the zoo animals had passed this way. Uh, those noises were just us. We were playing at being wild animals. I see. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Um, these escaped animals you're looking for, what are they? Do they have big teeth? No, they've got beaks. Do they roar? No, they make a sound like... Penguins! It is the penguins from the zoo. Oh, they're so cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are, you cheeky penguins. <laughs> they're always running away. They think having me and Mrs. Crocodile chase after them is a fun game. Hello, penguins. Would you like to see our clubhouse? Here's the slide. And here is our swing. Penguins, do you like our clubhouse? The penguins love the clubhouse. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Danny's pirate bedroom. Pepper is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. Hello. Hello, Danny. Pepper, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. I'll see you later, Pepper. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh! I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! 
And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling there will be stars. When I sleep it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah yes, the sea. I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Can we help? Of course. Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder... What you are! <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh! The stars are glittery! Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um, On TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, What a surprise! But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> okay, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me, me. Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where shall we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha ha! Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo-ho-ho, ho, yo ho ho a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. Yo-ho-ho, ho, yo ho, ho a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. <laughs> we are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> Weather station. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup today. <laughs> Children, today we are going to learn about the weather. Ooh. There are all kinds of weather. Sun, rain, wind, snow. I like sunny weather the best. Then we can go to the beach. Oh, yes, Mandy. A sunny day at the beach sounds very nice. I like it when it's windy. Then you can fly a kite. <laughs> yes, it needs to be windy to fly a kite. Anyone else? Madame Gazelle. Yes, Penny Polar Bear? I like snow the best. Then we can go sledding. Go! Penny Polar Bear loves snow. Go! Snow is such fun! I like rain. And what do you like about rain, Pepper? Rain makes muddy puddles for jumping up and downing. 
Yes, we do need rain for puddles. Now, as the weather happens outside, today's lesson will be outside. <laughs> Children, look what I've made. What is it? It is our very own weather station. Wow! What does it do? I will show you. At the moment, the sun is shining in the sky. Mandy Mouse, please turn the arrow to point at the sun. OK. The weather station is showing it is sunny. Ooh. And this thermometer has coloured liquid that goes up and down and tells us exactly how sunny and hot it is today. Wow. So, how hot does this Thermo thingy say it is. It says today is um nice and warm. It's getting windy, really windy. Can I move the arrow? Of course, Benny. The weather station is showing it is windy. And to see exactly how windy it is, we have this. It is made of sticks and old plastic cups. Ooh. So, how windy does it say it is? It says it is, um, very windy. Ah! It's starting to rain! We're getting wet! Don't worry, children. I have brought the big umbrella. The big umbrella! <laughs> that is a big umbrella. Now we can stay nice and dry and watch the rain. Madame Gazelle? the arrow this time? Of course, Peppa. The weather station is showing rain. Could somebody hold the umbrella for me, please? Thank you. Now we will use this rain bottle. It is made out of an old plastic bottle cut in half. Then put back together like this. There. The rain bottle is filling up with water. <laughs> the rain has stopped. Look! We can see how much it has rained. So how much has it rained? The bottle is full. So that means it has rained, um, a lot. And lots of rain means lots of... Muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good day for our weather station. We've had sun, wind and rain. But we didn't have snow. Oh, I think it would be too much to wish for snow as well. Oh, what's that? Snow! <laughs> it has started to snow. That is unbelievable! I'll move the arrow. The weather station is showing snow. I love sun, wind, rain and snow. Peppa <laughs> loves the weather. <laughs> Everyone loves the weather. Charity shop. Peppa and George are helping Mummy and Daddy Pig tidy up. Ooh, there's so much stuff in here. Yes, I'm sure we don't need half of it. What do you mean? Well, do you really need this tuba? Yes, I do. And one day, I'll learn how to play it. <laughs> I just have to find time to practice. Until then, it just sits around with all this other stuff gathering dust. Hmm. I say we take some of it to the charity shop. What is a charity shop? It's where you take things you don't need anymore. And it's all for a good cause. But it's so difficult to decide what to give away. It's easy. You just pick something up and ask yourself, does this bring me joy? If the answer is yes, we keep it. If the answer is no, it goes. OK. So, I ask myself, does this plant bring me joy? And the answer is yes, it does. So we keep it. Yes. <laughs> does this plastic vase bring me joy? No. So it can go to the charity shop. Now it's Daddy's turn. I will help you, Daddy. OK, Peppa. Does this bell bring you joy, Daddy? Yes, it does. What about this cup? That's my football cup. Yes, it brings me joy. Maybe I should help Daddy from now on, Peppa. 
What about this tatty old chair? I thought we'd given it away already. Pure joy. What about this book? Hard Problems in Logistics, Volume 3. Hmm, that's not a very joyful book. OK, then it can go. Uh... This is fun! <laughs> what a great tidy up! Now, off to the charity shop. See you later! Bye! This is the charity shop. Here is Granny Wolf. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. We've got some things for your shop. Oh, thank you very much. Here is Grandpa Giraffe. I've made the tea. Did someone say tea? Here is Grandad Elephant. Tea? And Grandma Cow. Uh, and old Mrs Donkey. I've made more tea. There are a lot of old people helping in the charity shop. They like drinking tea. Wow! There are so many interesting things in here. Yes, our shop is full of stuff. What do you do with it? We sell it. And the money raised is all for a good cause. Daddy, can we buy something? Well, yes. After all, it's all for a good cause. The great thing about charity shops is that you never know what you're going to find. One week it might be jigsaw puzzles. It's my job to count all the jigsaw pieces to make sure none are missing. There's one, two, three... The next week four, we might get bagpipes. Bagpipes? I've always wanted to play the bagpipes. We'll take them. Daddy, can we buy this wooden bird? Why not? George has found a garden gnome. We'll take that too. The more we buy, the more it helps. And look, we have a complete 20-volume encyclopedia. Wow! What's that? These books tell you everything about the world in 1956. Amazing! Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have arrived home. Mummy, Mummy! We found lots of things at the charity shop. What? Yes! There was so much amazing stuff there. Look, a complete set of encyclopedia. And Daddy is going to learn the bagpipes. Oh, the room is just as full as it was before. Yes, all thanks to the charity shop. It's the best shop in the world. <laughs> Pepper loves the charity shop. Everyone loves the charity shop. Pepper and George are visiting Mrs Badger's farm. Pepper, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. <laughs> it is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. <laughs> We were just talking about tractors. Peppa and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. No, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels. And a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! 
<laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. Uh -huh. No traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs. Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Pepper <laughs> loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Oh. What's that smell? Poo-poo! Uh. -poo. Mummy! George has done poo-poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. Oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Peppa. He is potty training. Hmm. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Peppa. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Peppa. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. <laughs> now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty! That's right, potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play giants! <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the smell of a clean, fresh... George! <laughs> Quick, George! Hide from the giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around?
around here. <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes. <laughs> he went that way. Come back, you cheeky piggy. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> wee wee. Mummy, Daddy, George wants his potty. Come on, George. Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Oh, oh, the magic word is potty. So when you want to go, Call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George, you called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up, like me. <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>